Welcome to the video, guys. During the bedlam that was occurring in London over the weekend, there were still other situations going on around the UK, especially down on the Kent coast, where the boats keep floating in, as I'm sure surprises absolutely none of you. But they didn't stop over the weekend. We had more Monday and Tuesday, with also a report today proving something we have all long suspected, and that is that the Home Office has absolutely no idea how many illegal immigrants are actually in the UK. This is something I have suspected for many years and even mentioned in videos when illegal immigrant numbers are quoted, I always add at least two to three times more because that's what I expect it will be. Now, the BBC released a couple of articles on it, which we will take a look at, and we will also go over a couple of points from The Guardian's article, pointing out that the Home Office doesn't have a clue how many people are here, and hasn't known for at least 15 years. So, maybe I was a bit quick to blame Pretty Patel for it, but it still remains to be seen what she is actually going to do about it, because at the moment, for the past six months, it would appear as if she's done absolutely nothing time will tell of course. But the first BBC article headlines, Channel Migrants, Border Force intercept five boats. They don't intercept them at all, they pick them up. It's almost an arranged ferry service at this point. Five boats carrying migrants have been intercepted by Border Force vessels in the English Channel. The Home Office said 49 men and women were brought to Dover and transferred to immigration officials. You mean 48 men and one woman were brought to Dover and transferred to immigration officials who will release them within a week. The attempted crossings started at about 6.25am and continued through the morning with the fifth boat intercepted on Monday afternoon. The attempted crossing started at about 625 BST and continued through the morning with the fifth boat being intercepted on Monday afternoon. Minister for Immigration Compliance Chris Phillips said, We will do everything we can to stop these boats. What a complete load of nonsense that is. You have had the chance to stop this for years and done absolutely nothing about it. Consecutive Tory and Labour governments have had the chance to do something about this for years and they don't bother, likely because they don't really want to. They're all talk and no action, as we already know. He said the government was working closely with the French and authorities stopped more than 1,000 migrants from crossing the channel in April and May. No, you didn't stop them from crossing the channel. You brought them over to the United Kingdom. Let's not confuse picking them up in the channel with sending them back. When you pick them up in the channel and bring them into Dover, that is not stopping illegal immigration. That is facilitating it, you bunch of more. Morons. Those who arrived gave their nationalities as Iraqi, Albanian, Kuwaiti, Sudanese, Chad, Syrian and Malayan. So, half the fucking world. It follows the arrivals of two boats on Sunday. Ten men and two women were on the first vessel intercepted at about 3am BST and five men who said they were from Sudan on the second vessel at about 1pm. So as I've said before in previous videos, it is literally a daily ferry service that we are providing. I am starting to think the UK border force might as well go and pick them up from the beach. It's that bad. They're literally taking the piss out of us that much. All of this is costing the taxpayer an absolute fortune. And here we have another article from the BBC yesterday. Channel migrants try to cross English Channel in fog, which I'm not sure why the BBC are surprised by that. Last week, we had guys strapping together two kayaks or something like that and using shovels to paddle across the channel. It is incredible, though. They didn't need to paddle across because they were picked up by the UK border force and brought here. So, you can fashion a quick makeshift raft and float yourself off from France and get a free ticket to England, it would seem. And this, at the moment, I am fully blaming on the Home Office because of the article we'll look at in a moment. Border Force teams were seen earlier with a group of people thought to have attempted the crossing, and officials were spotted towing a rowing boat filled with oars into harbour at Dover. Are you sure it wasn't filled with shovels, as I said a moment ago? The small blue 
blue and white vessel was paddled through the port by officials. The Home Office said three boats had been intercepted and a fourth incident was ongoing on Tuesday evening. It is thought the rowing boat was intercepted in the channel in one of the earlier incidents, which all took place before 9am BST and was carrying a group of men, as they always are. The channel is the busiest shipping lane in the world and conditions can be treacherous for small boats even when visibility is clear, but fog shrouded the coast on Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, French authorities said they rescued four migrants from a boat that was spotted by a passing ferry. Those on board all had mild hypothermia and were taken back to Boulogne. Oh, so you managed to take four migrants back, but you're refusing to tell us about the 10 or 15 boats that you escorted to British territorial waters, as Nigel Farage has pointed out and documented many times. A Home Office spokesman said 19 men and women were brought to Dover, following the first three incidents and passed to immigration officials. They gave their nationalities as the usual suspects. I'm not reading them out again. It is not yet known how many people were involved in the fourth incident or where they are from. They will likely be from some of the countries you see above there. And we've heard more about what the French authorities have done. Sorry, I don't have no faith in the French authorities or the Minister for Immigration, Chris Phillips, and his bollocks, if I'm honest. We continue to work with them to tackle these illegal crossings. No, you don't. You're picking them up off them and bringing them here and bringing the ruthless criminals who facilitate them to justice. Well, the people who come over here on these boats are actually criminals. I'm sorry to break that too you. As the Minister for Immigration, you should really know that, you snivelling shit weasel. And here we have probably the peach of the bunch. Home Office has no idea how many people are in the UK illegally, which I must say is rather shocking that The Guardian actually put this out there. The government policy of making life intolerable for people who are suspected of illegally entering the UK is yet to show that it can persuade them to leave Whitehall's spending watchdog has found. That is a laughable statement. When has this government or any UK government made it intolerable for anyone to live in this country? They're all a weak bunch of hacks. We've just been seeing how the Home Office and the government are essentially sanctioning free ferry services for illegal immigrants. Please don't talk this bollocks to me. The National Audit Office said that Home Office officials admit that they have no specific evidence to show the complaint environment policy, the successor to the hostile environment policy that led to the Windrush scandal, encourages voluntary departures of foster compliance with visa and passport conditions. Now, let me just say something about this so-called hostile environment. I'm actually sick of seeing it. It is a complete load of bollocks. There has never been a hostile environment to anyone in this country. Otherwise, thousands of people literally wouldn't be trying to risk their lives to get here every year you complete an utter morons. If the UK actually had a hostile environment policy, then let me tell you, immigration numbers would soon drop. That is for sure. You might even see people who've moved from other countries move over to new countries just to escape an actual hostile environment environment policy that, let me tell you, the Tory party is never likely to put forward. In a report issued on Wednesday, auditors also pointed out that the Home Office has not updated its estimate of the size of the illegal population for 15 years, and that nearly two-thirds of immigration enforcement detainees are released from detention centres without removal, which is something the Home Office really needs to answer for. How can you not know how many illegal immigrants are in the population for 15 fucking years? What is going on? That is since a Labour government. Tories have been there for 10, so that was part of Labour and consecutive Tory governments allowing this to happen or letting the Home Office get away with it if they didn't know, which, to be honest, I find difficult to believe. Now, Pretty Patel has been in there six months. She could have said something or tried to do something about it. Maybe she has over the months, and that could be part of the reason for her spat with Sir Philip Ratnam, who actually knows. We still have EU laws that might be making things difficult, so at the end of the year will be the true test of Pretty Patel and this UK government on how hard they will be. Don't hold your breath on them doing anything that you guys want, let me tell you now. But not only do they not 
know how many people are here and haven't known for 15 years, but two-thirds of immigration enforcement detainees, as it says there, are released from detention without removal. Like I said, they're there a week, then they're given a cancel ass, bunch of money and whatever, and they're off on their toes, because apparently there's a hostile environment policy. What a complete load of bollocks. It comes days after the Equalities Watchdog, the Equalities and Human Rights Commission, announced it would launch legal action to review whether the department had complied with equality law when implementing the hostile environment, which, as I've said, they never implemented. It is just a labour bunch of bullshit if you ask me. Responding to the report, Meg Hillier MP, chair of the Public Accounts Committee, said the department seems to have little information on which to base its policies. Yeah, its policies are just let them come in, pick them up from the channel, we've already discovered that. She said the Home Office has no idea how many people are in the country illegally and doesn't seem interested in finding out which I'm sure you would all agree is an utter disgrace and something pretty Patel better be addressing quickly. The department acknowledges that it had no specific evidence base to support the effectiveness of these measures when they were introduced. It is currently unable to measure whether these activities have the desired effect of encouraging people to leave voluntarily, the report said. Of course it doesn't, you complete and utter morons. This is something the government needs to address because we do have deportation laws, but they are stifled by the EU, weak civil servants and of course weak governments that we have consistently in this country thanks to the political system that we live under. The last estimate of the size of the illegal population in the UK was made in 2005 and suggested there were about 430,000 people in the country with no right to remain here, auditors said. And let me tell you now, that is a complete load of bullshit. I would expect it's well over one and a half million, possibly upwards of two or three. Who actually knows? And given the way the Home Office are acting here, we likely never will. Nearly two thirds of immigration enforcement detainees are released from detention without removal. The report found with greater numbers of detainees being released at late stage because officials could not deport them, which, like I said, our immigration laws and deportation laws are actually really piss poor. Some of it is because of the EU, other parts of it are because of weak governments and the civil service. After December, we will really see what the Tory government's about. At the moment, they're stuck with EU law under the terms of the transition agreement. That will soon change, and as I said, we will find out then what the Tory government is really about. Don't hold your breath, as I've already said. And the rest of it there is just banging on about the so-called hostile environment policy. We've already covered that. It's not looking good for the Home Office and possibly Pre Patel. Like I said, there is no guarantee that she's had any real part in this, though for the last six months, she's at least allowing it to happen without coming out and saying all this shit's going to change. She's give some mincing words, but nothing concrete that I can sit there and get behind and say, yeah, she's actually going to do something about it. She's still a politician. I expect she'll do absolutely fuck all about it and hope that we all forget. Now, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute and a variety of other platforms, including my second YouTube channel. As I said, all links are down in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>